Today, we're going to tell you about some really big changes, how we're going to take the Mac to a whole new level. Today is the day we're announcing that the Mac is transitioning to our own Apple Silicon. Hi guys, and welcome to a new video on Minimal Nerd. Uh, sorry I've been off for a while because I had to move to a new apartment. So this is my new setup and I hope you guys will like it. Let's get to it. So Apple announced one month ago that they're gonna move from Intel based CPUs to their own Apple Silicon. So what does this actually mean for Hackintoshing? I'm gonna be honest with you, this is not the end of Hackintoshing, but it's definitely the beginning of the end. And let me explain how it works. So Apple is gonna move from Intel to their Apple based silicon. So they're gonna have their own chipset. They're gonna make it and they're gonna program their software to run well on it. We already seen a demonstration that they did on WWDC 2020 using the A12Z uh, chipset from the, uh, from the iPad and it was running actually Mac OS Big Sur. And it was running really well using, of course, uh, some optimization and using the Rosetta 2, uh, you know, platforms so they can translate the programs and they show us some video game. Uh, it was not really the greatest performance you can see, but it was running really well. I mean, uh, the Tomb Raider game was running on a iPad processor. So that's really great. But when it comes to Hackintosh, is this the end now? I don't think so. And it's not only me who thinks that. I think that we still have some, let's say five years to seven years of uh, Hackintoshing that will be going on, but there will come a time where Hackintoshing will not be easy or possible. And why? Because we cannot just simply buy Apple Silicon CPUs. Now, as you can see behind me here, this is my Hackintosh. So this is my, uh, work machine and it's also my gaming machine. So I run Windows and I run Mac OS. But if I want to buy a CPU from Intel, I can just go to the electronics store and get it or from AMD. I cannot do the same for the new Apple Silicon. And I think I just read an article that said that Apple will not sell their Silicon to any other third party. So not even other companies or OEMs will get their hands on the Apple Silicon. So that's the problem right there. You cannot make a Hackintosh without having access to hardware. So this way you can make your own configuration. That's the idea behind Hackintosh. And that's why actually I really like Hackintosh is because you can make something by yourself and then you can have a really great, you know, uh, performance uh, value uh, ratio and, and you can really have a great machine that can work for a long time without paying that extra tax for Apple. So Hackintoshing will be over, but it's not going to be over now. I believe we have at least five to seven years based on what Tim Cook said in the Apple, uh, in their presentation, but also uh, during his podcast with uh, MKBHD. Uh, he, he confirmed that there are still some exciting Intel based Macs they're going to release maybe the, at the end of this year or 2021. So this, at least based on their previous support for, uh, you know, Macs and for, you know, uh, power PC transition, we still have at least five years of software support for Apple hardware, which means that if you have a Hackintosh now, it's not gonna stop working, but at least five years from now, you're not gonna get the latest updates. So I believe macOS Big Sur will be the latest release for Intel base Max, uh, I will be very doubtful that Apple will continue the same, um, will continue supporting Intel base Max with the uh, with the next release after Big Sur. So if they do that, that would be great. But I believe macOS Big Sur will be the latest release that supports Intel base Max, and maybe we're gonna have at least uh, five years or seven years, hopefully with uh, you know with software updates and what's gonna happen after that that's the big question right well your hackintosh will still work but you're not gonna get the latest update you can you cannot just you know uh, install the latest uh, mac os 
update and you know get it working on your machine so you're gonna get stuck somehow in that timeline and I do believe that it's not a big deal for me uh, maybe it's not a big deal for you if you want to buy a Hackintosh now maybe it's gonna be a big deal when uh, you know we come closer to that time but I do believe that if you want a Hackintosh now go ahead and buy a Hackintosh there is nothing that's gonna you know make your decision difficult now five to seven years from now that's a long enough time to have a PC or a Mac uh, but it depends on your goals what you want to do with your Hackintosh are you a designer are you a video editor um, do you rely on it for coding uh, are you using it for uh, your own business are you making money on it so it depends on a lot of things but think about the people that just bought the Mac Pro from 2019. They are all in the same situation as you now if you want to build your own Hackintosh. So I don't believe this, this is actually uh, something bad or something is going to be very sad. I think it's, it's the beginning of the end, of course. But if you want to have a Hackintosh, go ahead and do it. And in fact, I'm going to release my full guide for making a Hackintosh like the one I have here. So I've been running this Hackintosh for almost like eight months now, and it's been running really well, and I'm relying on it for my business, for my work, and also sometimes for gaming. So I believe Hackintoshing will be over some years from now, but today is not the end. Thank you and see you in the next one.